Hey everybody, Breath of Gaming here, back with part one of a brand new series on Bounty Train, which we looked at earlier in the week as part of our first look series. And so I decided to go ahead and do maybe a quick little playthrough on the game. I don't know how short the playthroughs are exactly, but I am very intrigued by the game. I like what I've seen so far, and so I'd like to play some more of it with you guys. Um, so at the end of our tutorial, we found ourselves in Portland where we needed to speak to our father's lawyer. That's really all you missed other than a couple basic uh, walkthroughs of the mechanics. So if you want, you can go back and check out the video, but um, you're really not missing much by just kind of jumping in here. So we need to talk to Jeremiah Sullivan Black to um, see about our inheritance. So let's do that first. Hello, what can I do for you, young man? My name is Walter Reed. I'm here to talk about my father's will. Nice to meet you, Walter. I have all the papers and money prepared, but there's more you should know. Well, I'm all ears. As you know, your father had a 55% share in the Nas National Pacific Railroad Company. They will be the first transcontinental railroad connecting the east and west coasts. I'm aware of that. Go on. Your father's idea was a route that would be short and cheap. However, his partner Cornelius Tilburgnar wanted a longer route that, unlike the short route, will go through the Indian territories and will make him eligible for significant government aid. Hmm. Sounds terrible. I'm glad that's not my problem. According to your father's will, the inheritance will only be available when the first transcontinental, transcontinental railroad is finished. He thought this would motivate his children to finish his life's work. Well, how long must I wait? I imagine the project will be finished in a month, correct? Since construction has not even started, it will be several years, maybe even a decade. The shorter route, however, can be completed much quicker. A decade? You must be joking. What can I do to change the plans? Let's see, you and your siblings each have 11% shares. Together you would have the majority vote and thus the power to change the track to the faster route. Hmm, well I'd get paid faster, so it sounds good to me. Here are your papers and some money to get you started. You need to finish everything before July 1st, 1862. So we've got a year and a half, basically. This is when the shareholder meeting will take place in New York. Find your siblings, gather the majority of votes, and change the railroad route. But beware of Cornelius Tilbert Nahr and other shareholders who may not like your who may not like what you're planning to do. I know your brother Robert is working somewhere in Boston. Try to find him first. Don't worry, I'll make sure all this gets settled properly. Thanks for everything, Mr. Black. So we got a thousand bucks, a hundred experience, and first mission is complete. So we need to maybe hire on some people to help us with our train. Let's see. Here you can get contracts for post delivery. They're open from nine, 900 hours to 2100 hours. Okay. But well, we should probably do that. And so we got to find our brothers, Samuel, Michael, and Robert, and our sister, Pearl. Let's talk to some of these guys first. I forget what the different colors mean. Let's find out. So we got Frank Workman. Let's see. What are you looking at? Hello, sir. My name is Walter Reed, and I'm looking for my brother. He shares my surname and is a railroad engineer. Do you know him? Reed sounds familiar. I've been spending most of my time in the saloon, though. So, my memory is a bit fuzzy. Perhaps a small favor from you would help me remember, if you know what I mean. Hmm. What do you have in mind? Let's see. There's a lovely woman in Boston who happens to adore me. I haven't seen her since moving here a few weeks back. And so I send her letters, but she never responds. I'll tell you where your brother is if you take this letter to her, but don't read it. Hmm. You know what? We're headed to Boston anyways for... Our brother Robert, I think he said, so... Agreed, but only because I can search for my brother while I'm there. Be ready to tell me what I want to know in return, or else. Okay, so there's one mission. Let's talk to, uh... August here, maybe? I think the purple ones are the guys that we can bring on. Oh, no, passenger. Okay, never mind. So maybe the yellow are the guys that can work for us? Let's talk to, uh... August O'Neill here first. Hello, Walter. My name is August O'Neill. I heard about your father's death. I'm shocked. He was my best friend, and I want to help you continue his work. Great. I can help. I can use any help I can find. Welcome to my team. Cool. So we got August on our team. He's level four already. That's pretty good. It didn't cost us anything to bring him on either. What about Erasmus here? Hello, stranger. My name is Erasmus McMahon. 
Hard times. I'm looking for a job. My services will cost you $555. Are you interested in my skills? Well, tell me more about yourself. What can you do? Ah, okay, I'll show you. As you can see, I'm a professional. Are there any... Are you interested in my skills? He's got a Smith and Wesson and a fist. Okay. It's level 3. That's half my money, but... He's a pretty solid character from what I can tell. I mean, I don't have much basis for comparison, but... Uh, let's maybe come back to him and talk to this guy here. Let's see... Do you need sweet grass? I don't know what that is, so no thanks. Okay, his name is White, so I guess he's not eligible for hire. Let's... We'll bring on Erasmus for a full party. Yeah, let's bring him on. And then these guys are passengers. He wants to get to Boston. He wants to get to Boston. And... He does not want to get to Boston, so... That makes this pretty easy. Let's talk to Lemuel here. Hello, my name is Lemuel Bright. I need to get to Boston. Does your train move there? I'm ready to pay you $80 for a ticket. What do you say? Alright, go ahead and hop on board. So a little bit of money there. Gets us back over the $500 mark. Then we got Bernard here. Bernard Hopkins. I need to get to Boston. Does your train move there? Oh, it's always the same thing. So we need to get there in six days. And he'll pay me 80 bucks. Okay. So, we've got a full train. Let's maybe look at the post office. Let's see. No offers for us at the moment. Well, then, have a nice day. What about City Hall? What's going on here? Uh, deliver two cotton bales to Utica. Uh, what else do we got? Utica, supply, medicines. Wait. We're in Portland. Why would I be delivering medicine in Portland to Portland? Oh, okay, so I need to find it elsewhere. Well, I'm not going to take that yet. I think we're pretty solid with what we've got here. Let's uh, maybe head to Boston. Actually, let's maybe look at the... Well, you guys haven't seen the market of the depot yet, so let's do that. We can buy 20 coal for $3 a piece. How much coal do we need? Uh, looks like we're full up, so I guess we'll just leave that alone. Uh, what about the depot? So I could maybe take on two more passengers or a little bit more cargo space, but that's basically all my money, so I think we'll hold off for now. Let's see, I'm going to close that. That's all we can purchase. So we've got, it uh, looks like another engine there, which is the exact same one that we have. And we've got the same passenger car that we already have. And then the same cargo car that we already have. So we would basically just be expanding. And I don't think there's, yeah, there's no more options. Actually, one more thing, the market. So we've got tobacco and oil. Do we know what they sell for in other places? Trade panel on, please. How do I turn this on? What happens if I click that? Okay. Hmm. Oh, so this is the total amount. It's $3 a piece and there's 20 available. Got it. Well... Let's be on our way then, I suppose. So we're going to exit the location. Alright, so in order to start moving, we need to buy a license. And so I think we have to uh, click on this. This is it. Your journey begins, Walter. Safe travels and make your father proud. Thank you. Okay, so I didn't actually need to purchase that, but I think the other ones we will have to. Looks like we've got a pretty much straight shot to Boston, although there will be some bandits along the way there. So let's head out. It's going to take me about two days. And we're going to use about a fourth of our inventory. Can I, what's this do? Ah, so that would take us three days, but use less coal. Yeah, coal's not that expensive. Let's, let's go all in here. Okay, so let's see. Hey, let the man into our camp. He's one of us, after all. 
Hmm. I'm a bandit? Let's see, thanks for the invite, but I have to keep going. I'm gonna move on right by him. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and... Let's see, help Bernard Hopkins get to Boston. We lost his luggage, huh? That's not good. Well, still no train to California. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's maybe go to... Actually, I want to see my mission, so I need to do what exactly? Okay. So that's completed. That's completed. Deliver a letter to Mary. Got it. And then we head back to Frank. There's Mary right there. Sir, please do not stare at me that way. My fiancé is a skilled gunman who has taught plenty of men in this city a lesson for disrespecting me. Huh. Let's see. Settle down, miss. I met your fiancé in Portland. I'm here to deliver this letter to you. Portland? He lives here in this city. Wait, the man who wrote this letter wouldn't happen to be Frank, would it? Uh, let's see... Yeah, he's an older looking man with, grain, with a graying beard. That filthy man has no shame. I had him arrested in Boston after I, I had noticed him following me. Ever since then, he's been asking people on their way here from Portland to deliver these pathetic letters to me. Why would you help him? Let's see... He said he'd offer me information if I delivered the letter to you. You wouldn't happen to know of a Robert Reed, would you? He's a railroad engineer. I didn't meet a Robert Reed. I didn't meet a Robert Reed, but recently there was many engineers here working on a project. One of them was trying to convince me to go with him to New York. I think that's where most of them went. Well, I appreciate the information, ma'am. Cool. So that ended up working out. Uh, we can return to Frank and tell him off. Uh, he's selling scallops. That's a bit interesting. We got Jerome here. I don't think we need anybody else. Oh, we leveled up. That's right. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. Choose a new perk. Intellect increases the quantity of skill slots and critical damage chance. Agility reduces range weapon reload time and increases evasion. And Kung Fu will increase the probability of evading a shot. Okay. That doesn't seem like a very good ability. It gives you plus 1%. This gives you... Wait. This is plus 5.5, .5 and this has plus 0.5. Hmm. I am torn. Another skill slot sounds nice. I'm going to go with intellect. And we have a knife. That's pretty cool. I don't know what these mean. Let's just keep them all the way they were. Okay... So, post office. What do you got for me? No offers. Okay, then. Boot shop. My boots are made of the finest buffalo skin. Show me what you got. We can buy boots? What does it do? I have no idea what the boots do. Is there any tool tip? I'm going to pass. I don't know what they do. Let's see, we can heal our teammates there. We don't need to do that, though. And is there anything here? Deliver it to New York. Well, that's where we're headed. That wants me to go back to Portland. And this wants me to supply medicine to Boston. I think we'll take this one. Because we're headed to New York anyways. Actually, let's look at the map real quick. So New York is to the south, Portland's back to the north. But we do need to head to Portland soon anyways. Because we gotta talk to what's his face, Frank up there. Let's let's worry about New York first, and we'll come back this way, because if we're going from New York to Portland, we've gotta backtrack anyways. So uh we'll do that. And then uh if that job's still available, we'll take it all the way up there. Uh, yeah, I'd like to go back to Boston, please. Okay, so I will take 
this one. I'll accept that. Oh, we couldn't do both anyways. And then, does anybody need to get to New York? He wants to go to Utica. He's going to New York. $60 for a ticket. That's kind of cheap, man, but whatever. Oswaldo, where are you headed? Philadelphia? Can't really help you there. Jerome Crosby. Huh. I can't hire him, unfortunately. Let's take a peek at the market. So we could use some coal. It's pretty expensive here, though. Hmm. They have more available, but it's it's more costly. And we gotta start keeping tabs on what these things go for because you want to buy and sell, uh, you know, goods. Obviously, I don't think we have room, anyways. How much is a uni unit of coal? Point one tons, huh? So it'd be a hundred dollars for how much? Let's see. I'm gonna buy one for five and see how much this goes up. Oh, it goes up a thousand. Okay, so we don't need very much at all. There we go. So for ten bucks, we're maxed out. Perfect. Let's head to the depot and see what they've got available. Looks like it's the same stuff, so we'll probably pass on that. Although another car is tempting, but we'll. We'll have to wait, I think. We just don't have the money. Let's see. Yeah, Utica and Philadelphia. Alright, well, I think it's time to head to New York. Unfortunately, uh, I'd like to have a full train here, but we did the best we could. Alright, so what's this going to cost me? $100 for a license? Yeah, okay. What do we got here? Civilian camp. Well, let's head to New York. Going full bore, I guess. Coal is extremely cheap. Let's see. You need a few commodities? Might be willing to part with some of mine for the right price. Well, let's see what you got. Uh, who are you? Yeah, sorry, man. I can't hire you. It's good to know that he's there, though. Okay, so what is this? Cotton? Sort by distance, sort by quantity, sort by price. Actually, sell price is what I'm concerned with. So it looks like we want to buy in Boston and sell cotton in Portland. Who are we supposed to be talking to here to trade? I don't see anything to click. Oh, it's right here in front of me. Uh, $8 for cotton. That's pretty cheap. And $10 for food. Do we have food on here? Yeah, so... In Portland, we would make a profit. And in... Portland, we would make a profit there as well. Let's buy up as much cotton as we can, I guess. The cotton's really cheap. How much can I carry? Let's see, I have zero free space, so never mind. Never mind. Okay, here we are in New York. Let's go ahead and make some deliveries. Uh, it wants me to talk to the clerk in City Hall, okay. Uh, they're not open yet, so we'll have to wait a bit. Uh, we should probably talk to these people and see about finding our brother. Well, that's Robert right there. Is there something I can help you with? Robert, it's me, Walter, your brother. Walter, I can't believe it. Aren't you supposed to be on the other side of the Atlantic? What are you doing here? I'm here to shed light on our father's death and clear his name. He wants to build a railroad without harming the natives, but his partners have other plans that will cost a lot of lives. I'm well aware of the situation, especially how convenient father's death was for his shareholders. With him gone, they can freely construct a railroad through Indian territory despite the dangers. But what will you do to stop them? If we can get the majority of the shareholders to reject the decision, there won't be any bloodshed. That's why I'm looking for you as well as our other siblings. Do you know where they are? Our sister Pearl is in the east, while Samuel resides somewhere west of here. As for Michael, he is in the south. I have letters and addresses you can use to find them. They're back in my home in Pittsburgh. 
Uh, let's see. Well, let's keep on moving then. I'll take you there. I could really use those addresses. So he's on our train. Who else do we got? Philadelphia, Richmond. Uh, he wants to get to Richmond as well. What's uh, what's next for us? So Philadelphia is immediately to the south. And then from there, we'd probably go from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh. So let's worry about Philadelphia first. Richmond is not going to be on the way, so we're not going to touch Richmond for now. So yeah, Philly to Pittsburgh. Is there anybody that wants to get to Philly? He does. But Julia? She wants to get to Richmond. And we got some people that would be worth hiring if we could hire. St. Louis, no thanks. Yeah, let's talk to Edward then. $60 for a ticket? That's not great, but I'll do it. And then we gotta wait for City Hall to open. Don't need to heal anybody. Anything. Oh, they're not open either. Let's see, how do we pass some time? That's done. Fire in Buffalo. What do they want me to do? Extremely needs good for 14 days. Okay, so it just means we can make a ton of profit there. We'll keep that in mind. And what else do we got? That's about it. What's the depot have for us? It's got a slightly better engine, but we can't afford it. And what's this? This is a better passenger car that can hold one more person. It's tempting, but again, I can't afford it, so we'll have to wait. And then the market. I don't think anything that we find here is going to be cheap. Do they even have coal? Nope, no coal, so... Or actually, I think this is blocking it. Yeah, there it is. I will take one piece then. That puts me basically back at full. What's my reputation looking like? Neutral with everybody, okay. And... Let's see... Depot... How do I pass time? Hmm. Bank. Well, I don't know how to keep the clock rolling. Ah, here we go. Sure, let's fast forward. There we go. Hmm. Why is he back here in the caboose? He should be up here in the passenger car. I'm going to put, not Walter, let's put Erasmus in the back. And I think we'll put Edward in that window, maybe. And I guess I'll drive. That works for me. Oh wait, Edward's, Edward's a passenger. Let's get, um, let's get him by that seat. And we'll put August in that window. Actually, we'll put August, like, right here. Okay. So I'm going to fast forward to 9 o'clock when everything's open. We'll talk to here. Um, don't want to deal with the bank right now. Let's see here. Here, concerning the fur pieces. I've got the goods. So we got 110, and we got some reputation. Cool. Now, is there anything else going on here? No. Hmm. 23 days to bring them three food. Sure, I'll take that. And bring them steel. I don't think we're headed that way anytime soon, so let's forget it for now. What else did we have to do while we were here? Oh, we wanted to check out the post office. So, urgent post to Portland. How much does it pay? Ooh. We would basically lose all the money in the trip, though. It would take us four days to get there. To get there, and, uh... Yeah, we don't want to do that, so... Never mind. Gunsmith. That's interesting. Show me what you got. Uh, he's got a Colt number three and a Smith & Wesson number one. What do you guys have? 
He's got a Colt M1855, which does three damage base. What's this do? Four and two. So that one's... Why is that more expensive? This seems better all around. Oh, magazine size one. Got it. That, yeah, that would be frustrating. Uh, what do you have? You have a Smith & Wesson number one. Hmm. Well, I think we're pretty well equipped here, so we'll just leave it alone. And so we're out of time. I suppose we'll break off the episode here, and at the beginning of the next episode, we'll hop on the road to Philadelphia, where uh, hopefully we can find ourselves a little bit more work on our way to Pittsburgh. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to share my videos however you guys see fit, and I will see you guys back here for the next part of our Bounty Train Let's Play.